Yes, regulators are investigating the autopilot feature on a Tesla electric car after a fatal crash in May. A man died when his car crashed into a truck in Florida. It sparked questions about the limitations of the technology and what had been seen as progress towards self-driving vehicles. Tesla has issued a statement saying when drivers activate autopilot, the acknowledgement box explains, amongst other things, that autopilot is an assist feature that requires you to keep your hands on the steering wheel at all times and that you need to maintain control and responsibility for your vehicle whilst using it. Ryan Hagerman is a technology and civil liberties analyst at Niskanen Center. That's a libertarian think tank. He joins us from Washington. Great to have you with us. First of all, just tell us how this, act, this particular accident happened. Well, the broad strokes of this are we don't actually know all of the details. What we do know is that a truck with a tractor trailer with a very high reflectivity on it, it was very white, it was a very bright day, got out perpendicular in front of the Model S, and that level of reflectivity actually confused the sensors, confused the radar on the Model S, and then you had the ensuing accident that unfortunately resulted in the tragic loss of a man's life. Yeah, we're just hearing some uh, reports coming through to us now that this particular man had eight speeding tickets in six years. I mean, should the people who drive these, or who use the self-driving cars, should they be vetted? Well, look, we're running into trouble now where, as you pointed out, the autopilot system on the Model S is technically still in the beta stages. This is not perfected technology, and we've seen over the last year and a half or so a lot of people abusing this technology, taking their hands off the wheel, and in some cases, in videos that go viral online, people falling asleep while allowing the autopilot mm. to drive for them. The trouble is, we don't actually know the details about what led up to the crash. And so, given that the National Highway uh, Traffic Safety Administration has only just begun a preliminary investigation, it might be a bit premature to actually conclude what was transpiring in the minutes leading up to the accident. Sure, but it does raise questions as to why have a driverless car if the driver has to maintain alertness at all times? Well, remember, this isn't actually fully autonomous technology. As Tesla makes very clear, you actually have to activate the autopilot system. It doesn't come activated by default. And remember, let's keep in mind that over the last two years of the autopilot system actually being deployed commercially, this is the first fatality that we've heard it. Mm. And that's in over 130 million miles of total recorded driving uh, miles on the part of Model, uh, Model S owners. Would you, drive a, would you use a self-driving car? I don't, not yet. As soon as they become available, however, I'm going to be the first in line. Okay, great to hear that. Ryan Hagerman, thanks very much for joining us there from Washington, D.C.